Hi, in this video, we are going to look at how to do arithmetic or maths in JavaScript. And we're going to look at the different types of arithmetic operators that we can use for um, mathematical operations in JavaScript. Um, so to start off with, we'll look at the different operators uh, and then we'll look at um, how we can work with numbers and, and variables uh, in JavaScript. So um, the first one we've actually already looked at in a previous tutorial, and that is the assignment operator, um, the equal sign. So for example, if we create a variable, uh, and I'll just call this x, uh, and I'll make it equal to the number 10. The equal sign is, that's called the assignment operator. So it's assigning this value, 10, to the variable called x, okay? We have a number of different operators that we can use, some of them quite simple, like a simple addition and subtraction, subtraction operators, but there are some that are used for uh, other operations that um, uh, we can do more advanced things with. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to log the results um, of the using these statements to the console. So I'll go and open my um, page and I'll click inspect and then I'll go to the console and we'll see the results uh, of using uh, these uh, arithmetic operators uh, in different operations uh, in our code. So uh, first I'll do console.log and for addition, it's quite simple. We can just uh, add two numbers together and it's just using the normal plus sign. So that's pretty straightforward. So if I run that code, we get the result there of um, 10 plus five, which is 15. For addition as well, it's just uh, the dash, minus sign, or uh, hyphen. All right, we can see the result there. So those are quite straightforward. For division though, we don't have a divide uh, symbol on the keyboard, so we have to use a forward slash. So 10 divided by five, we just use a forward slash for division there. All right, and we get two. For multiplication, we can't, uh, we can't just do X or a time sign. We have to use a star or asterisk. So that's for multiplication. So I'll just add a little comment here next to each operator. So I've got addition, subtraction, division, and then multiplication. And that's our multiplication there in the console. All right, so those are quite straightforward. Um, now there are some other operators that we can use as well. So we've looked at how to do division, 10 divided by five there using the forward slash. Um, but uh, there are some times where we might not necessarily want the result of the division, but we might want uh, the remainder from the division. Um, so this can be used for a, a number of um, different reasons. We might wanna find out if a number is odd or even, uh, so we can check if there's a remainder. If, from dividing a number by two. If there's no remainder, then that must mean that the number's even. Um, we can use it to do things like finding out if a year is a leap year using a formula. So uh, there's a number of different reasons why we might uh, want to get the remainder from a division. And to return or to get the uh, a division remainder, we use modulus, all right? So modulus is the percent symbol. So for example, we could do five modulus two, so five and then the percent sign two. I'll just add a little comment there. And what this will do is divide five by two and two goes into five twice with a remainder of one. So it will only return the remainder, which will be one. So if we refresh the page, we see one there in the console. Okay, so that's modulus. Um, we can also use increment and decrement. All right, so uh, for this, we might need to create or, or use a variable. So we've got a variable here called x. Uh, in our code, we could do something like this. We could say x equals x plus one. All right, and then we could console log the value of x. So we should see 11 in the console now. We've changed that variable, increased it by one. Uh, but there's another way that we can do it. And we can do it like uh, this, we can say, x plus plus and then log that to the console and now it's 12 so plus plus 
is increment. We just increase by one. There's also X minus minus. And this is decrement. So it will decrease uh, X by one. So now it's back to 11. Now uh, this example here of X equals X plus one, we might want to do something like X equals X plus five, for example. There's a shorter way of writing that. So we can do, um, we can do compound addition. So instead of writing something like this, X equals X plus five, we can actually write X plus equals five. And if we console log our X again, uh, we should get 16. There we go. All right, and that works for these other operators as well, like um, subtraction, we can do, um, we could do X minus equals five uh, we don't need spaces around the operator and operands. So just remember, these are the operators, uh, the symbols like plus, minus, divide, multiply, equals. They're called operators and the values that they're acting on are the operands. So the values on either side, like X and five are the operands. So we could do compound subtraction. We could do um, multiplication as well, um, division. So there's a number of different um, uh, operators there that we can use. Okay, moving on to exponentiation. So if we want to raise uh, a number to the power of another number, we can use two asterisks or two stars in a row. So for example, let's console log this, five to the power of two or five squared we would use two stars or asterisks between five and two. So that's exponentiation. Exponentiation. Okay. So we're raising the first operand to the power of the second operand. Okay. And then we get 25. So uh, five squared or five times by five is 25. Okay, so that's exponentiation. Um, that's the same as actually doing this. We can use a, a math function. There's a number of different math functions that are built into JavaScript. And there's the power function. Uh, and what you do is say math.power, and then in brackets, the first number, and then the number that you want to raise it to the power of. So this would be five squared or five to the power of two, which will give us the same result of 25. So that's, it's the same thing. Oh, <laughs> exponentiation. It's the same thing, but uh, this is using a function instead, the math function called power, math.power, instead of um, these two stars here. Okay, um, we can also, um, there's another function, there's many functions we can use, uh, many math functions. We might wanna find the average or mean uh, of a set of numbers. Uh, we might want to round numbers up or down. Um, uh, we might want to do something like square root, like this. So we might say math dot square root, S-Q-R-T, shortened, and we might say four. So what's the square root of four? So what we're doing is using this function, math dot square root, and we're passing in the number four, and it's going to find the square root of four but then we're also putting it between these brackets for console.log to display that in the console and we get two there. So two times two is four. Okay, now lastly for this video, we'll just look at grouping using parentheses because order of operations are uh, just as important when we're coding as well. So um, with order of operations, multiplication and division have a higher precedence uh, than addition and subtraction. So for example, if I did um, you know, five, uh, oops, console.log, if I did five uh, plus 10 divided by two, what that's going to actually do is um, divide 10 by two first, which is five, and then add that to five. So it's gonna be five plus five, um, which will give us the result of 10, which we see there. It's not going to be uh, five plus and then 10 divided by two. It's, it's not, uh, sorry, it's not gonna be five plus 10 and then dividing it by two. So it's not gonna be 15 divided by 
two. If we did want to do that, we would need to group these values in brackets. So now what we're doing is five plus 10 grouped together, so that's gonna be 15, and then divided that by two, which will be 7.5, which we get there, okay? So multiplication and division have higher precedence than addition and subtraction. Another example, um, so yeah, if we did five plus 10 divided by two multiplication, again, it's gonna have higher precedence than additional subtraction. If we were uh, subtracting or adding 10 there, um, the multiplication is going to have a higher precedence. So this is going to be uh, five plus, if, if we remove the brackets, this is gonna be 10 multiplied by two, which is 20 and then add five to that. So it's gonna come out as 25. But if we wanted to add the five and the 10 together, it's 15 and then multiply that by two to get 30 like that, we need to group the addition uh, in parentheses and then multiply it. Okay, so that's order of operations in JavaScript. So uh, that's basically it. Uh, I'll put the sample code uh, in the comments, the link below, uh, and I'll add some comments next to each of these so you can work through these examples, have a go yourself, uh, and also you can have a look at some of the uh, other math functions that are available. You can research those online. There's a number of different functions that we can work with uh, to get the average of a set of numbers or to round numbers up or down. Um, go and check those out. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.